This is Bluetack, and it's not really an art supply, it's more of a stationary thing that people use to stick things to walls and keep things still. In fact, this is the Jazzic model I created using the 3D pen in a video on my channel, and you can see I have Bluetack on his feet because he doesn't stand up by himself. <laughs> Blue Tag is a very practical and useful thing. I feel this sounds like I'm sponsored. This is not sponsored. <laughs> Wish it was sponsored. Blue Tag, sponsor me. And I was walking through Kmart the other day and I saw a packet of Blue Tag and I thought, hmm, I wonder if you could sculpt with Blue Tag. I mean, when you pull it out, it, it doesn't stand firm. If I hold it like this, it starts to sag. By the way, when I was in primary school, I used to like make nails out of it. Man, I haven't done this since I was 11. <laughs> there you go, look at that. I have spooky nails. <laughs> I'm getting distracted. The point is, uh, I've, I'm genuinely curious as to see if I can sculpt with blue tack. Now, I didn't pick up that blue tack when the thought crossed my mind when I was in Kmart, so I'm gonna have to uh, build up my supply of blue tack. So I guess that means we're about to go on a field trip. <laughs> G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Draw with Jazza, I'm Jazza and I'm going to do the Blue Tack Sculpture Challenge today. I don't know what sculpting can be done with Blue Tack, but I'm going to go find out. I don't think I have enough Blue Tack though and I want to get some supplies to model with. So I'm going to head out for a bit of a shop and uh, as you guys know, I'm a little bit nervous when it comes to public vlogging, but I have a little trick up my sleeves that I'm hoping will give me some confidence. All right, stop number one is Kmart. I'm walking through obscure sections of Kmart just because I feel like an idiot, but I feel like these glasses are shielding me somewhat because people can't see the terror in my eyes. All right, let's walk through the ladies section. Ladies love a good vlogger, don't they? My wife does. <laughs> oh, lingerie, I might blush. All right, so I'm on through to stationery and this is where the magic happens. I love every now and then going through an office supply place and just finding random things that I think, oh, I can make art out of that. And this is one of my favorite rows. So here we have a bunch of different stuff, but looking for something very specific. Here we go. Oh my God. There's colored blue tack, but then it's not blue, it's color tack. <laughs> Take it all. I should probably get some of the classic just for safekeeping. All right, I have a fair amount of swag here. I have no idea how much I'll need, but I figure better safe than sorry. Oh, I'm in the makeup department now. I can make art out of this stuff. Toothpaste. What do you reckon? That's another video. Let's let's stay on track. Casey Neistat would be proud. Hey, on. I legitimately bought these things. Thanks Thank you. That. If I'm more obnoxious, it hides my vulnerability. I think this is working. <laughs> All right, stop one accomplished. I have one more stop I want to make, and that is to equip myself with some more tools to sculpt with. Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, yeah, yeah. I say, hey. What's going on? Sculpting tools, where do I find oh. those? I'll probably get a couple of these, but I think there's like a little metal thing that I've seen with a sharp end and a slightly flattened end. Do you I haven't seen what I'm talking um, about? I might just have a look around. Do you mind if I talk to myself for a bit? <laughs> go, go for it. <laughs> this is my local art shop and uh, I've gotten a few things I think I can poke and prod with. I have some knitting needles. <laughs> I got a, a little hobby knife and I'm gonna see if I can find another hobby knife as well, but I think that'll be useful. And I have some little play sculpty tools. In the meantime, I'm actually deadly curious if they have my book. I doubt it, but that'd be cool. Could I obnoxiously ask if you'd order in my book? <laughs> awesome, I'll just get those. Oh, you do have one of those things. What's that? One of these. Oh, this yeah, I'll get that please. Add, add that to the list. Oh, perfect. This will be useful because I'll be able to cover it up. And yeah, because I think too much blue tack on its own will get sa soggy or saggy <laughs> or it'll just flop down. Whereas I could pose this and then cover it. It should be fun. Yeah. All right, thank so you very much. Is the name. That's, that is the name. <laughs> See you later. Alrighty, I've got my swag. Let's go back home. Okay, so I'm back from my little field trip and uh, this was my supply of blue tack, but I have since upgraded my stash and uh, I have four packets of 
plain blue tack. The original reusable adhesive. I swear to God, this is not sponsored. I swear to God. And then I have this uh, blue tack color. It says it's great for modeling, sticking, and is great for kids, which is fantastic because I'm a giant child. I'm going to use this statue dude as a base uh, because I want to build up the mass around him. As far as the sculpting goes, this is where things get particularly random. I don't have sculpting tools. There weren't any shops nearby with actual sculpting things. This is the closest we got from the art supply store and this is for clay really. So I have a little hobby knife and a Stanley knife. I have a crochet hook and knitting needles and I have a pair of random crafty sharp tweezers and then just some other tweezers I found lying around. I have no idea what is going to be useful but I'm going to have fun finding out. I'm going to start sculpting blue tack on my figure here and see if I can come up with something cool. Wish me luck. Good luck Jezza. Oh wow uh, thank you Mr. Statue but I dare say that delivery was a little wooden. Okay, I'll stop. All right, so jumping into the creation process. First, I created a pose. I thought I'd go for something sort of reaching and leaning back and up towards something in the distance. And because the mannequin is kind of unnatural looking, I thought I'd roll with that and create an alien type character, perhaps reaching or yearning towards the distance where maybe their flying source of friend is leaving them or something, I don't know. I block out some of the rough geometry and build up the mass in areas I wanna work with, particularly in the face, by whacking on some of that blue tack and then slowly on top of that, thinning out and adding my color tack in areas that would be appropriate. Because I have very fluoro and neon colors to work with, I thought I'd go for a bit of an 80s vibe, complete with puffy orange sleeveless vest jacket thing. Now the thing I learned very quickly when trying to sculpt with blue tack is, to be frank, blue tack is not easy to sculpt with. For two reasons, first of all the malleability of the blue tack is quite difficult to work with and really hard to shape. It feels quite solid and if you work it to the point where you're heating it up and it's easier to move, it gets very sticky and is even less workable. So I kept my room fairly cold so it was at least somewhat workable even though I couldn't smooth or blend any of the blue tack areas on the surface it wasn't going to look neat no matter what way I went about it. When it comes to detail I tried to cut and refine the pieces on my cutting board before I put it onto the statue things like the edges around the leg warmer or the rims around the wrist of the gloves rolling out the fingers separately and all of the parts of the gloves and the hands I built separately before putting them into and on the character. The character itself was quite top heavy and the stand wasn't very stable so uh, it was a little hard to work with and quite shaky at times. Fortunately I had plenty of blue tack around so I did put some of that under the actual stand. Uh, at least its practicality came in useful while its uselessness as a sculpting material was being dealt with. Last but not least I move into the face and try to create a uh, cool alien looking character that was also more human than alien. I wanted to have a fairly extreme expression, something that looked a bit intense or forlorn. Detail was really difficult to work with in particular. I tried to add a whole bunch of little alien pokey outy bits and spikes and fins that made him look nice and alien-esque and added a bit of detail. But as you can see going through the rest of the character there really wasn't much blending or smoothing I could do on the surface level just because the blue tack is so hard to work with but I did go through with my sculpting tools and try and add some lines and textures throughout the character to help finalize my piece and add some sort of level of polish. Last but not least, I went into the face details and tried to add some final refinement, such as pupils for the eyes, some texture around the face where possible, and added some teeth into his mouth very carefully. So here it is ladies and gentlemen, this is the finished result of my blue tack sculpture challenge. I love the way this turned out. This is way cooler than I expected, especially when I started using this stuff. I was like, oh man, I won't be able to make anything with this. But it turned out pretty cool. I guess you could say I 
Nailed it. Once again, through the uh, colors I was limited to, I went for this sort of 80s vibe. And of course, because the statue thingy was so sort of odd looking, I thought I'd roll with that and just go with an alien. So I have here an 80s alien, sort of feeling a bit of a Marty McFly vibe. That is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like if you enjoy the result of my blue tack sculpture challenge. I had loads of fun. I even got through some public vlogging for you guys, so you're welcome. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and of course subscribe to Draw With Jazza if you haven't joined yet because we have loads of fun with a whole bunch of different creative mediums and supplies, whether they're conventional or not. For example, at the start of the video, saw so this. This is something I made in a, a 3D pen video, so I'll link to that in the description if you want to check that out. I have a bit of a similar pose thing happening. There must be something about the dramatic Oh, and by the way, if you like this shirt, you can get that in the description as well. Anyways, that's it for now, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you later. Make sure to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos. And while you're at it, check out my shop where I sell ebooks, brushes, photo references, video courses, and more. There's another video you might enjoy from my channel over there, and you can also check out my behind the scenes daily vlog channel, Daily Jazza. That's it for now, and until next time, I'll see you later.